Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing my most requested video, which is my hair product video because a lot of you guys keep commenting about my hair and stuff and they're like, what products do you use, Katrina? I'm just like, I will tell you the products that I use. The first product I want to talk about is the product that I use like every time I wash my hair. And for me, I'm not really good at using like the same product very long. Like, I don't know, I just like don't because it does my hair like gets tired of it. So, but with this product, I've been using it for about like a year or so maybe now. And it's, I like it. My hair likes it. It works. It doesn't smell gross. So yeah, so let's talk about it. What I've been using is the, is the brand is called Curls and it's the Blueberry Bliss flavor. And this is what it looks like. It's just the Blueberry Bliss, and this is the shampoo, or the cleanser, the shampoo. And this is my favorite because it gives me that, like, nice slip, but, like, there's no sulfates in it. And this is, like, a no-sulfate sulfate brand, so that's, like, really good. But I just like it because it smells like blueberries. Like, who doesn't like the smell of blueberry muffins or anything like that? Like, it's, it smells good, so, yes. But I use the... Condition, not conditioner, I use the Blueberry Bliss Shampoo. I cannot find the conditioner in stores anywhere. And I went on Amazon and I found it, but I'm like, that's almost like $18. I was like, no. So I have, it's also by Curls, and it is the that Curlata conditioner. And that's what this one looks like. But it's really good, like it smells like coconut and stuff. Like, I need to get some more soon. So the shampoo conditioner, I have the leave-in conditioner, and Again, I only buy like the little baby travel size one because I cannot find like the actual size in any store. And also, I've only ever seen it in Target. Wow, so just Target. But I can't find it in the big bottle. So like if you know where to find like the big bottle at besides Amazon, like let me know. And then for my twist outs and stuff, I, I use the Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream. And that's what the bottle looks like. It's a pretty like, like the generic like twist out cream size bottle. And you can definitely tell that I've been using it because it's just about gone. Like, nothing. And yes, I have little, like, hair strings in there because I use it, so, eh. And then they also have a hair growth oil. And this is, like, gone. Like, if you can see that, like, gone. But that's what it looks like. It's just the hair growth oil. I like it because I have, like, a really dry scalp because I have psoriasis. So, like, any kind of, like, moisture I can get helps because, like, my hair dries out so fast and I... It's, it's frustrating like my hair breaks so much because like my scalp is so dry all the time but, like I put stuff on I promise but like it just gets so dry and lastly from the curls brand I have the liquid hair growth vitamin so it's like basically it's just like the um, hair skin and nails vitamins but it's in a liquid form and this stuff is not just like blueberries so don't get your hopes up because that's exactly what I thought and I was very disappointed but this is what it looks like and it is Pretty expensive. I don't remember how much it costs. I want to say maybe $30, which is like way too much for some vitamins, but it works. So next I have what I use for like styling purposes and stuff, like if I don't do a twist out or anything like that. And it works pretty well because my friend recommended this to me and she's like, yeah, when I was younger I used this and it works pretty well and I still use it. So I was like, okay, like let me try it and it works out pretty well. But it is from the Carefree Curls brand and I have the curl activator and it's in a yellow bottle with a red top and this is what it looks like. And then I have the Carefree Curls Gold Instant Activator and that's what this one looks like. But yeah, these are like these are like my go-to like holy grails like I we I like I use this like every like 3 days because it keeps your hair like so like hydrated, not hydrated, hydrated but like moisturized and like my process is I wash my hair, I dry it, I spray some keratin oil on it, and like some coconut mist, actually it's this one, the uh, Organics Coconut Oil Hydrating Mist. Spray some of that on there. Then I have a little spray bottle downstairs, but I'm not gonna go get that. And I have this and that one, and then spray that all over my head, like separate my hair, section it off, and like spray it on each section. And then I massage it in, and then I throw some of this on top of it massage it like get everywhere my ends and everything throw a shower cap on throw my bonnet on sit in the house for like the rest of the day because i'm not going out in public like that hair care routine but yeah they work really good so highly recommend and also i also, i like using the s curl like 
my mom said this is like really outdated but i found it and i was like why not like it works the same so if i can't find this in the stores i just go and get the s curl and it works the exact same next i've been using this for like maybe two or three weeks now and i haven't really seen any results that like i can like physically see or say per se but it's okay and i've I got on YouTube and I, like, I looked at the reviews and stuff. I'm like, okay, people are like having good reviews. But then I read the comments. It's like, yeah, I use this. Like, my hair fell out. I'm just like, oh, geez. So, hopefully this will work. But it's the Wild Growth Hair Oil. And this is what it looks like. This is the white bottle one. The white bottle with the green writing. And apparently you're supposed to just, like, use, like, use this, like, once every few days. And then only use, like, three drops of it or something like that. And I'm just like... I have a big head. There's no way that I can just use three drops of this oil. So we'll see how that works. And then I also have the um, Wild Growth Light Oil Moisturizer. So this one works kind of better. Like you can just like put it like all over your head. Like I like to use this whenever I do braid outs and stuff. Or like I just give my hair like a nice like break and just like corn row. Is it corn roll or corn row? I don't know. I think it's row. Just like put it all over and just like and just like hang out so yeah so this one works the yellow bottle works a lot better than the other bottle the white bottle and also the white bottle my cousin said to use this as like a hot oil treatment and that's fine and dandy but like it's one of those like weekend hot oil treatments where like you know you're not doing anything else for the weekend because if you like do it for like the 30 minute hot oil treatments it's not gonna work because this stuff will be like gunked into your scalp and in your hair and it's like it's the devil to get out next we're gonna talk about our edges specifically my edges because they are something real don't let this hairline fool you mm -mm. my edges are something serious but i've been using the gorilla snot lately but i've been using this for a good minute now and i like it, it it does the job because again my edges are like yes like you, you know what I'm talking about like edges but it's really oh my god like <laughs> okay like are you ready just like like eh. I like this one because like it does have a really good hold and this will be like pretty good to like you get your cream going on and then you put, eat like a gel or something yes it's good Walmart cheap and also for my edges to like slick them down, like this is like to jelly them, this is like to slick them down. This is from the brand, it's the Eden brand, and it is the Control Edge Glaze. Mm, glaze like a turkey. But that's what the outside looks like. And normally it's supposed to be like clear, and mine was clear at one point. And I don't know if it sat in the car or something, or my mom took it and put it in the car, or had like heat to it or something, but it like turned white. And that's what it looks like now, so thanks mom it's nice I like it again because I have psoriasis and stuff like I need like really like heavy duty oils and stuff but I don't like jar oils because they're just like I don't like doing all of that like ugh. but I do like using it's from Shea Moisture's and I'm sure like well, I'm, not, I'm more than sure like you can go to Walmart and buy the same thing like for way cheaper but I got this from TJ Maxx because TJ Maxx and it's the Shea Moisture's 100% flaxseed oil and they have like a whole like if you go to Ulta or like Target like in a predominantly brown area they'll have this kind of stuff there. But they have a whole bunch of different like oils and stuff like I have a castor oil one somewhere downstairs and again I know you can go to Walmart you can go to like CVS no don't go to CVS or Walmart they're expensive like don't go there go to Walmart. But they have castor oil and stuff but like I just got this because it was like it was like four dollars so I was like why not. But I use this and it's like, it's not super thick, but it's like just thick enough to like do the job and it's a good like sealant. So yeah, like I need that kind of stuff. Cause again, like my scalp and like my hair is dry all the time. And then living in South Georgia, that's hot, hot and humid all the time. Like up until like November like 30th. So, okay. So we have these like in jar forms, but I didn't feel like buying more jars because these like I have packets going on right here and these cost like 75 cents so I was like why not buy the packets but it is the I think the brand is called Ors, but I don't know this is what it looks like 
There's that one, and this is for, is a leave-in conditioner. Then I have a curl boosting jelly, and it's purple with a purple lady. And then there is a curl defying cream, or creme, and it's with the orange lady. But yeah, these work really well because I started using these whenever I first went natural, and it, like, it held up like really, really well because like, guys. Yes, like, this Ors or Curls, whatever brand it is, like, just, if you're on your phone or something, like, screenshot it, like, just this brand right here, like, it's good. I highly recommend it. And it doesn't sink either. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like, I don't know what it is with, like, natural products or just, like, things that are, like, targeted towards, like, natural and, like, curly head people. They smell gross. So, like, I'm all for, like, the products for like curly headed people that don't smell like nasty like ugh. I have some packets from the Miss Jessie's and okay so the deal with Miss Jessie's and me I I like her but I don't like her at the same time because like she's like a hit or miss because like okay example you know how like sometimes like you have that one pair of jeans and like sometimes you can fit them and they fit really nice but then like maybe like a week or so later like you try to put them on again and like they don't fit like the same this, that's how this is like it's like oh yeah like my hair is like popping it looks good and everything and then like i'll use it again and it's like oh no like what did you do wrong i have the transitioning magic it's in a orange packet so i don't know what color bottle it will be in i have the jelly soft curls it is in a pink packet. I have a leave-in condition, no, leave-in condish. Sorry, not condition, condish. And it's in a yellow packet. I have the quick curls. And it is in a greenish packet. But yeah, that's what I have from Miss Jess. This, this pack, this one, I'm not gonna use, I might use it, but it's making me mad. It's the multicultural curls, like, ugh, tangent. Okay, we're gonna go on a tangent real quick. Okay, so one of my biggest pet peeves is that people thinking that just because something has like a brown person on the label, like for instance, the Ors brand has a little brown lady on it. She's brown, like you can obviously tell she's brown. But like whenever people think that cause it's has a brown person on or like something like that like curls oh it's meant for like brown people no like anyone can use it like if you have straight hair it's not really gonna do anything for your hair like it's not gonna make it curly but like you can still use it like just guys that come on like please use <sighs> i'm gonna talk about the stuff that doesn't work for my hair or i just can't use it because i just can't first things first we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite. It is not my favorite. It is the Eco Styling Gel, or Styler, whatever. The Eco Gel. Can't use it. It does not do anything for my edges. Not a single diddly doodad nothing. Like, it gives me, it's, it gives me flakes and that's about it. Eco Styler, you're not on my good list. You're on my hit list. Can't use it. Waste of money. Next not bashing them. If you use this brand, continue using it. I'm not gonna make you not use it. I can't do that. I'm not paying for it for you. So like, you do what you want, it's your money. But I'm not gonna use it because my hair doesn't like it for one. It doesn't, like it just doesn't, like it's, it rejects it. And then two, this brand has sulfates in it and I went to the store the other day and I should have recorded it, but I didn't. And I like checked every single product from this brand and first ingredient, water. Second ingredient, alcohol. Rubbing alcohol at that. Do you want to put rubbing alcohol on your hair? No, then don't do that. But yeah, second ingredient is rubbing alcohol, so that's, that's not good. But yeah, the brand, if you couldn't tell already, it's Cantu, and it looks like this. Again, not bashing the brand, but no. And lastly, this product is I won't say it's everyone's favorite, but a lot of people, like a lot, a lot of people, like probably like million, trillion, zillions of people love this product for their hair. Me? 
Katrina? I don't. Why? Because whenever I use it, even if it's just on my ends, like the very like tippy tip of my end of my hair, it like somehow like makes its way all the way up to my hair shaft and my entire head and makes it smell like I haven't washed my hair in like five weeks and I've been running marathons every day. So can't use it. But it is coconut oil. Virgin coconut oil to be exact. And this is the jar. Like, uh. And yeah, like I have it. And you're like, you don't use it, so why is it empty? I'm not gonna waste coconut oil is expensive. I'm not gonna waste it. Like, no. Like, come guys, you know better than that by now. Like, you know I'm a cheap person. Like, I'm expensive, but I'm also very cheap. So I use this for my dogs and stuff because it's good for like rubbing on your dogs and stuff, and it also tastes good for the dogs. And then things that I use to help my hair. They're not products, but they're just like extra things. A wet brush, because brushing your hair helps not have it tangled and I don't use like the like a brush brush I just it's a wet brush and if you don't know what a wet brush is this is what it looks like and yeah there's hair in it because I use it but like the bristles are just like really like flimsy and like floppy wide tooth comb this one I like it because it looks cool you can get a plain wide tooth comb but this one looks cool you can hang it in your shower because it has a little thingy thing like go get you a command hook hang it in your shower a pick because the middle part of my head grows the most and the fastest and it gets really knotted and tangled so I use this to kind of try to separate it so I don't have giant chunks of hair that go missing because I try to comb it out. Okay, girls and guys, whoever watches this, get yourself a bonnet. Get a satin bonnet. If you want to be cool, get this kind of bonnet because it's a beanie. It's from Grace Ellie. Yeah. But no, this one, is, it's a bonnet still, but like, it's cool. Like, guys, it's a beanie. So like, on those like, cold winter days, if you live somewhere where it's cold and wintry, you can wear this as your bonnet. Or just go to Walmart again and get you a satin bonnet. Also, get yourself a satin pillowcase from Walmart. I have one downstairs. I had it earlier, but I went downstairs, so I don't have it with me. But get yourself one of those. They work perfectly fine. These things right here, these are my holy grails. This is how my hair looks like this because perm rods and you can also use like curl formers and like flexi rods and stuff but I like perm rods the best because like I just do but yeah like these are like these are so great you can go to Sally's and get them I don't think Walmart has them but these are just perm rods they're great raving about them all the time like they're all over my house and my room because I use them all the time I'm about to use them later whenever I go do my hair and then lastly this one is super important water water drink yourself plenty of water because it hydrates your body and your hair is technically part of your body it's like cells and stuff i don't know science that well for hair and stuff but you need to drink a lot of water to help your hair grow so water vitamins hair vitamins oils helps your hair grow so if you want your hair to grow and be luscious drink your water but okay guys, I'm gonna go because my camera is dying and I'm running out of time and I'll talk to you guys later because I'm gonna do a 20 something random questions about Katrina. So I'll talk to you guys then.